Okay, so we'll put these two images here side by side. The left hand one was your before and the right hand one with the green line is your after, okay? So if we look at the movement now on the left hand one, again, set it wise is okay, club face, a smidgen to the close side, okay? But again, better, okay? You can see here now we move off the golf ball. And there's no real movement back to that red line. That club's kind of got to the back, so, and now it's coming down. Okay, so as you start moving down, you start trying to move down here because the speed of your arms, your left shoulder now, because he never gets through that green line and is always kind of like popping up and backwards. Club face overtakes, and an impact. There's your impact. Your hands are kind of, I would say, kind of back. If we could go to the middle of your hands, roughly there just back behind the golf ball with the blur, okay? So you kind of move back and up at the shot, leaning back a little bit, club face a little bit out of control. Momentum carries the club through and we hit it a little bit left with that kind of closing of the face. You compare that to this one, okay? Same good takeaway. As we get to nine o'clock, our body is moving nicely off that green line. And now watch this. See that? Mm. No, this, 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 was the, this was the good one. Yeah, this is the really good one, okay? And you may have heard the phrase, you may have even said it yourself, when I hit the ball well, it almost feels like I've got a pause on top of the backswing, yeah? If you actually look at your club, the body's moving and the arms aren't actually moving from there. Mm. There's not really a move as such as your body's moving down. So as you start moving down and left, your left shoulder now is a lot lower. And look where your left shoulder goes through now to the green line. Mm. And there's your impact, Yeah. Everything now on that line, that guy in that video, through that left leg. Your hands now, and if we go sort of there to there, and in the middle, that's your shaft angle impact, as opposed to this one here being the middle there, kind of behind the golf ball. You've moved through that line, both with hip, shoulder, yeah? All because, as opposed to this one, where you try to move left on the way down, can't quite get there. As you're coming to now, your left is sort of popping up, leaning back a little bit. This one now, as you're coming to the golf ball, because of this sort of just slight bump and move that way a little bit earlier, your left shoulder now is not popping up quite something. Your left shoulder now is almost level. Look at the difference in your shoulder line impact there. And that's the fraction after impact, to be fair. But your shoulder's a lot more that way as opposed to ugh, pulling back and leaning back and just letting the club face, as we said, flip and turn over and then when you turn through you're able now to extend up through the shot and stay on that green line whereas this one here now you've got to then move a long way whoop, to, try, to try and get over there afterwards yeah and it's somewhere like a bit more stress on your joints anyway because you're kind of moving from here back here into like whoa got a lunge at the ball yeah rather than moving with the body and then just letting that kind of that trigger restart, yeah? That's as far advanced as this one, but... Oh, no, 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 no yeah. Like that, but you, yeah. Do, you do get around there, to be yeah. fair. But you get around there in the same position, but in some ways, it's just... There's more effort to do that after the swing. It's after. And in some ways, the ball's been... The inflammation's been given down near where the ball was, okay? So getting that sensation of moving the body a smidgen earlier in the back. Okay, so if we think that's nine o'clock with your arms, at this stage, now the club is still working back to the right side. As the club moves to your right foot, your weight and your shift of body movement is to the right perfectly. As you get to bat here, now the club starts going up. Your body's not shifting as much now. And now as we start this, there's that rock and bump. So it's like, whoop, there. Really, really good. I've seen people talk, make this movement, they fire their hips. They're not sure where their body is, to be fair. So the fact you're doing that is, again, really impressive. You can see the movement now. The thing is now is trusting that you're not gonna hit that hooky one. Mm -hmm. And now we can release the arms. What you tend to do is sort of hold the club. The fact your glove is still kind of visible there means you probably sort of kind of block the club face off a little bit, okay? Which is the same movement you did on this one here. Now, as you can see, this one was a hook left and that was a push to the right, <laughs> yeah? So the hand position is still the same, fighting that club face, but even with that glove still being visible because you're in this position, not letting your arms sort of release as normal, you still hit the golf ball left, yeah? So that pose position here now with the arms, Hasn't really improved, but you can see your head staying down, the weight's more on your left, on your trail foot there. I mean, your arms are basically in the same position, aren't they? Look how much further left you are on the right hand when your head's come through, your chest has come through, your arms, everything's moving through. Your right leg is kinked in towards your left, your right foot's getting up on its toe. Much more fuller movement, whereas this one's sort of head staying down, staying back behind it. A lot of things hitting the ground back here. And when you come to the golf ball now, the club is working up and to the left, whereas this one is working that way down and more towards target, yeah?
but that's only going to come mm. from this movement there, that movement there. You can get that. That is, and again, I don't want to keep saying it over and over. But really impressive how quick to coordinate that. Normally, to a lot of people, it takes quite a bit of practice. Yeah, I've done this sort of same with other people in lessons before. And they might take the whole session, and then even a few sessions after to really kind of get it done, even to get even <coughs> happen. Then when you embed it in, you've got it done four swings, and the sound on couple of those five irons there, I say acoustically in here, a bit different on the golf course obviously, but in here, there's a very, very distinct sound on the feeling, change. The feeling's oh, better with the club as well, exa- isn't it? You exactly, know when you yeah, exactly. hit the sweet spot, you can't exactly. feel any, anything in your hand. Yeah, there's no vibration, the ball goes, <laughs> it just fizzes off the club face. But you could still get the sweet spot from this position over here, mm-hmm. but the shot itself's not going to be very really good yet. And it's the outcome which I want to improve is obviously, mm-hmm. yes, we want to hit the ball well from the middle of the club face, there's a difference between striking it good and hitting it good, and that's the biggest thing. So yeah, so practice that movement here on this this right hand one there. Boom. You can just do it this way, just sort of swing there, boom, boom. So you just feel a distinct shift into that left foot. You can do that. Ball strike is going to go through the roof in terms of quality. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Oh yeah. Excellent. Very good. Right.